You're listening to Swinger University with Ed and Phoebe. Where learning never got you hot like this. Here are your hosts, Ed and Phoebe. Hi, this is Ed. And this is Phoebe. Today we're talking about taking better sexy photos to boost your profile on dating sites. We're going to walk you through some general guidelines, some techniques, and some big no-nos, things you just shouldn't do. You don't need to be a supermodel to be sexy, and you don't need to be explicit to be sexy either. No. And actually, this episode is perfect timing now that things are starting to open up, and those of you who are going on a cruise in about five months... Time to start reeling them in you got to throw some bait out there (laughs) updating those pre-covid bodies with your post-covid bodies yes and it's been at least a year and a half since most of us have dated so a lot can happen a year and a half so time to update your photos hopefully all for the better we'll all feel better in a little bit (laughs) All right, first rule, look natural, but Uh composed. I know, it sounds easy you say that, but it's really hard. I feel like a dork every single time. In fact, I rarely let Ed take my photo. Yeah, and the the trick with this is, you know, it's kind of like, you know, act casual, but don't Mm. look like you're acting casual. More of it, think of it this way. Try to take photographs while you're doing something fun. So if you're having fun, then taking a picture at that moment is pretty easy. So, yeah, you can do the whole posed lighting, all kinds of stuff set up. But sometimes sometimes it just doesn't work very well and Mm -mm. it becomes a little awkward. With practice, everything becomes less awkward as most of us are familiar with swinging the more you do it the less awkward it gets <laughs> but it the sexy part of it is the fun so if you're mm-hmm. having fun if you're doing something fun you're being playful with your partner it's pretty easy to snap a couple pictures while you're in kind of like a fun flirty mood so yes think of something fun have it in your head ha- have some fun activity going on who knows maybe it's you know naked house cleaning day and you just start taking pictures randomly oh have some fun with it get some whipped cream who knows just (laughs) or maybe you take the pressure off yourself and you just decide that you want to try on a bunch of costumes or a bunch of sexy clothes and all of a sudden it's like like, runway model night and you're just like trying stuff out (laughs) runway model night down the hallway that would be actually really good right Nice white walls, clean floor. Bam, bam. We might have to try that. Mm, That's a good idea, Ed. So remember, fun is sexy. Other part of this is smiling. So even if it's a naughty smirk, it's still a smile. If you look angry or frustrated or whatever, that comes across in the pictures. Right. And I know this is kind of obvious, but. Right. That smile, that little hint of a smile, that Mona Lisa smile is kind of sexy. That kind of smile. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, not like a big broad grin, not but cheesy. but more like, mm. you know, wink wink nod nod kind of gotcha. smile. I'm thinking sexy thoughts kind of smile. The grin. couple across the bar smile. <gasps> oh, yeah. That kind of smile. Yeah. You know, I'm flirting with you. Yeah. I see you, but I don't want you to think I see you. Smile. Right. Mm. Okay. Just like fun, enthusiasm is queen or king. So if you're enthusiastic, if you're having fun again, if you're into it, that comes across in the pictures too. There's more energy, it's more lively. You look exciting Mm -hmm. and you know i said it a little bit but 
if you feel awkward or self-conscious, that comes through in the photos. So you, you, you kind of got to shake it off. You got to get out of that. Got to get in the moment. And this is the thing. Like I, we've said fun and enthusiasm, and but you haven't heard us say slutty <laughs> or or even sexy <laughs> because fun and flirty photos are are also really sexy. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like whip a tit out or have a dick shot to have a fun, sexy photo. Right. Think of Playboy, not straight up porn. Right. Playboy, you know, th- there's a little hint. It's like you can barely see the side of the breast. They're peeking over their shoulder. It's playful. It's mm-hmm. not just, but here it is. That would be a good idea to go get some magazines, Playboy magazines, and see how they've set up their photo shoots. Sure. Just yeah. for ideas. And, or and they poses. do. Yeah, they do all kinds of different scenes. So, you know, you've got your your college um your college episode where or your college issue, not episode, thinking podcast, where it it's kind of themed. Right. Um, you know, they'll do a bathroom scene. They'll do the bear rug in front of the fireplace. It'll be, you know, getting out of the pool. It'll be Yeah. You know, Okay. Think of what you got and work with it. And work with it. Yes, because your house may not have a pool or fireplace, right. but you get it. And f- remember that photos are a tease. So you don't necessarily want to put it all out there because you want to give them something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Once again, think sexy, not slutty. Slutty's <laughs> great. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about sluts. <laughs> But for <laughs> photographs, for, for taking a profile picture, <laughs> y- you want to intrigue them. You want to give them something to look forward to. If right. you just put it out there, then they're like, eh. Right. Plus, guaranteed, if you don't give the boob or the dick shot, you will be miles beyond all the other photos that you see right. on the the swinger sites because... You know, as you're scrolling through, you're like, boob, boob, dick, boob, 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 butt, boob, 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 shoe and a thong and a butt. Do, do. Like, yes. how many people have done that? And you're like, okay. And then eventually, you just your brain starts to turn off, and you're like, yeah. seen it, seen it, seen it. I mean, I hate to say it. You've seen one. You've seen them all. Uh, I know. Not necessarily, you right. know, that you don't want to see more, because obviously, right. we're all in the lifestyle. All right, so that's the first thing. What yeah. about so we got some enthusiasm? Second? Yeah, what about our second? Well, let's talk about some techniques because we've talked about the mood. Now, techniques. Photography is a very technical subject to begin with, and we're not going to go into a crazy amount of detail about like f stops and bokeh yeah. and all the photography bokeh? terminology. What the heck? Yeah, you have to. Uh, look that up. is a new one on me. Yeah, but f stops frustrate me. Yeah, it's that, but by the way, bokeh is that soft, fuzzy background. Oh. So your f- subject is focused, but then the background kind of blurs out. It takes a particular I'm gonna use setup, <laughs> but bokeh is very cool. I'm adding that to my vocabulary for photography. <laughs> so lighting. You, you can't take pictures, you can't take photographs without light. Mm-hmm. Turn the lights off, try to take a picture, what do you get? You get nothing. So... The best source of light everywhere is the sun. Super bright, great warm light. It's free and it's beautiful. Like right. it can light you up and give you all kinds of great shadows. It's very diffuse sometimes, especially if it's coming in through a window. So, or morning or evening sunlight. Yeah. And the best thing to do is avoid direct sunlight. You you get ah. really harsh shadows. Mm. So oh yeah, like on your face when you're standing in the sun at Disneyland and you want to take a photo, yeah. and there's this big black shadow right. that your nose or your forehead or your hair created. Yeah, or you're just totally washed out because there's no subtlety. There's no the the, the light direct sunlight isn't sexy. It's harsh. Yeah. It's like really, really bright. Gotcha. So 
use reflected sun. So through a window, off of a wall. Oh. So kind of indirect sunlight. So gotcha. that morning light that's kind of streaming in through the bedroom window and it's kind of, gl you know, gliding across the bed. So when your wife wakes up or your partner wakes up and their naked bodies kind of just being backlit by that light coming through the window, hmm. good time to take a picture. <laughs> Use drapes. So if you've got direct sunlight, you can always close the drapes a little bit. If you've got sheer drapes, it's even better. It softens the light and it diffuses it so you get much softer shadows and soft shadows make the skin look softer. Nice. Harsh shadows show all of the the wrinkles and sharp edges and stuff you don't want to see. The golden hour. So there's an hour before sunset and an hour before an hour around sunrise that is really really good for photography. So the that sun lit sunset photo you get that orange hue in the the sky well the same thing happens with the light as it comes through the window it gets warmer and warmer it's really great for your skin tone and your complexion and it's perfect for photography tripods and no we're not talking about the guy with the giant dick that can stand <laughs> up by himself because he's got <laughs> a tripod <laughs> It allows you to set your camera up and take pictures together. So you can get some couple photos. Plus, mm -hmm. you can also hold other accessories. Like maybe you're using something to kind of diffuse the light. But a tripod is really helpful for not having blurry photos. And you can get a cheap one on, you know, or affordable one on Amazon. Yeah, and you can get one that sets up on top of a dresser, so you don't even need a full-size one, just something to hold your, your camera phone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have an expensive camera to take good pictures. No. Your, your average iPhone or Android Absolutely. phone takes amazing pictures nowadays. Yep. Um, and plenty good enough for a profile. You can use the timer, or you can use a remote trigger. So if you got one of those selfie sticks with the remotes, great opportunity. Set the tripod up, get into some sexy fun pretzely positions and then click click take some pictures and you could take a selfie i, I tend to sh say stay away from selfies for the most part but selfies can be fun so if it looks like you're having fun then the selfie can be okay but use them with caution how do you get relaxed what are some ideas Play some music. Yeah. Maybe your favorite music. Like we really love Cuban or salsa music. Yeah, something something warm and sultry and move, sexy and gets you moving. Has a good beat. That always gets me in the mood. Plus the whole sexy language accent thing going on too, where you're like, yes. oh, it sounds so. Plus it rich takes beat. Mm. to another place you just yeah. feel like you're on vacation so <laughs> so exactly. nice ah. so if you if she's got a favorite music something that maybe she you know relaxes to or soothes her that's a great thing to get relaxed to tell her she's sexy <laughs> and if she believes you Cause, cause I tell Phoebe all the time and she's, she's resistant to my charms now a little bit. I appreciate it. I do. I do. But reinforcing that she's sexy, <laughs> telling her that she's sexy, it kind of soothes and eases her and realizes she doesn't, she feels goofy, but she doesn't look goofy, which is important. <laughs> and Tell her what you like. So just like with sex, if you like something, if you like the way somebody's doing something, you tell them so that they'll do it some more. Right, yeah. Do, do, do that. Do that. Yeah. Do that thing with your hand. So if she moves a particular way that you really like, you can ask her to do that again, ask him to do that again. You can even kind of set the camera down and like help them get that position again. Or you can model the pose yourself. 
the most important thing with getting her to relax is to be patient and to be gentle. Because if you're anxious, then she's going to be anxious and the whole thing's going to be... Yeah. Uh-oh. Know your poses. So you may have to study up. Yeah. And the trick with this is not go study a bunch of poses and have them memorized, but if you practice a couple, you'll feel more natural when you try to take pictures using So them. maybe pick three to five, but no more than five. Right. Three would be good. And, and Or start with a couple, right? Yeah. And then, and then go from there. Take some pictures. You don't have to do it all in one setting. True. But some of the things that you should look for are look for poses that match your body type. So look in magazines for, for women that look like you or, you know, match your husband. And if it works for them, it's going to work for you. There's a reason why professional photographers pose the woman in that particular pose mm -hmm. because it's flattering. Mm -hmm. So steal from the best. Yes. Don't invent it yourself. Don't try and come up with something and don't try to do something necessarily that may not work for your body type. Um, it, it could work, but it's much easier to find something that you know works and then use it. Right. Look through those poses ahead of time and pick some that will f that will flatter you. And then practice without the camera and clothed, right? Like you don't have to go full on lingerie. Right. You could do it in your sweats. You could practice these things. In other words, you kind of do like a rehearsal before you get the camera out when it's on and the pressure's on and you got to get the picture just right and the lighting just right. Like forget all of that. Just practice. Yeah. I really like when you tell me how to pose because it's kind of like dancing. If you've never done it before and you have to stick your right arm out and your left arm in and you shake it all about, you're like your arms going above your head or it's yeah. down by, you don't know. It's where your appendages are. And if you haven't done it a lot, <laughs> it, it's it's an awkward thing. It's like, right? like you said, it's like trying to dance when you've never danced before. Right. So it's just awkward. So I like when you just say, do this, do that, bend here, bend there, yeah. lift here, lift there, all that. And really good photographers will, will know the poses just as well as the models and they can help and, and guide um, we'll include some links down below that talk about some posing sessions and some methods of getting good poses so that you guys have a reference to start, which is oh, kind of cool. Perfect. And one of the other things you can do is show her as you go. So if you model the pose for her, <laughs> you know, so, I'd love so to men, see that. you know, boost your, boost your bust, <laughs> then Oh my. She knows what you're talking about, right? Which she would can be see funny it. because if I saw you like grabbing your boobs, like you have big F cup boobs, I would start laughing. Which then. <laughs> right? See, I'm starting to laugh already. I'm Which then my makes the photo shoot fun and light and yeah. <laughs> and fun and light is what this whole thing is about. <laughs> so yeah, model the poses and then give direction, but gently. So don't be a director. Don't yell at him. Don't be a drill sergeant. <laughs> you're you're coaching. You're you're helping. Okay. Uh oh. What is this? Give her something to hold. No, no, not that. Don't. I mean, she could. She can grab your junk if you want to, but that's not what I'm talking about. Hold a pillow. Oh. Or a prop. So one of the ways to hide body parts and not do the full explicit photos, oh, you can hug a, p a pillow in right. front of your breasts, but they can kind of peek out from the side a little bit. Side boob. Yeah, side boob. Side you could boob be completely rocks. naked, but with a pillow and nobody would see anything. So you can kind of think of like a cross-legged pose, sitting up on a bed, kind of arch your back a little bit, hug that pillow it's pretty sexy. And of course, pillows are bed and gets you thinking about beds. And what happens in beds? Mm. You sleep. No, I mean, you have oh. sex. So <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, 
teddy bears. If you got a big teddy bear, um, that could be kind of sexy. Yeah. Um, f- props, any kind of prop. Yeah. If you're kinky people, oh, we've yeah. got whips, handcuffs. Oh yeah, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, That'd be good. Robes, so you could think of lingerie and robes as kind of a prop too. You know, it doesn't have to be on you. It could be laid out on the bed. It could be oh, draped yeah. off of your shoulders. There's lots of different things. Heck, she could be holding a bowl of fruit and oh. nibbling on a strawberry, right? In like, a pile of clean laundry on thrown all over the bed. Right. I'm done with my chores. I'm going to eat cake. Right. All kinds of stuff. So think of props, things things that could be fun or even thematic to kind of give you this cool vibe in the photos. Got it. All right. Oh, yeah, see, rumple the bed. See, I was going there with the whole with the clean, the cl- laundry, clean laundry tossed thrown around. Out. Yeah. So this was in this is actually in one of the videos that that I'm going to recommend down below and it's rumple the bed. It shouldn't look like a Martha Stewart magazine. Martha Stewart's not sexy. Uh, <laughs> somebody out there thinks that she's sexy, but I I don't think that the super clean, pristine almost sterile or hospital-like bed, that's not sexy. Think about it this way. If it looks like people have been rolling around in the bed having sex, that comes through in the photos. Aha. A nice, clean, tight bed that you could bounce a quarter off of, nobody's having any fun in that bed. Which completely makes sense when you say that, but then when you're preparing mentally... It's like preparing for guests where, where you're tidying, cleaning the house. You're like, oh, I need to right. make the bed. I need to make it presentable for the photo or for my guests. But then it's not the right message for the photo that you want to take. Right. Now, this isn't your dirty laundry scattered all over the floor. Right. And the kids' toys. No. Mm-mm. Everywhere. With the dog on the bed. Mm-mm. Dust and dirt. or Like, this isn't uncleanly like (laughs) people look at this and go oh oh no i might catch something if i go there and we're not talking about a venereal disease we're talking about like tetanus oh my yeah so okay not dirty just Just must must. like bedhead like oh recently screwed in oh think that all right connect 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 It's all about the face and the eyes and making that eye contact with the camera. So look into the camera while thinking about all the people you want to have sex with. (laughs) Um, Vin Diesel, The Rock, uh, who else? Oh, uh, Ryan Reynolds, and who was my other one? Celebrity fuck? I know I have five. Matthew oh McConaughey, typically. Oh, yeah, Matthew. He's fallen down on the list, but Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Oh, was that five? That was yeah. four or five. Yeah. yeah, four or five. Okay, any That's of those. That's a busy night. Any of those would work. The big trick is having that mischievous, sexy look in your eyes, and if you're thinking dirty thoughts, it comes through in your face, and it comes through into the photographs. So you can look coy, you can have a flirty smile, and like I said before, a smirk, a smile, something sexy. You can wink at the camera. Tay Diggs. Yeah. Sorry. I think I'm, I've lost I'm, her. Yeah. Phoebe's off off of thinking about her connections mm. that she'd like to have. The fantasy's starting. <laughs> Hands. So In addition to your facial expressions, another prop that you can use are your hands. So touch your lips, caress your chest, your collarbone, your fingertips. So you don't have to like grab your boobs. It's the the kind of gentle, sensual touching that comes across in the photographs that sets the mood in the photographs. And if your fingertips are just hovering above an intimate area, maybe even hiding the intimate area, it gives you that that allure, that kind of 
tease of what's underneath. They can't see it, but they know what's there, and they know that you're touching yourself, which is really hot. <laughs> touching your lips, grabbing the sheets with your hands. So mm. you do that whole full-on, like, crinkle the sheets, grab the sheets really hard when you're getting oral really well. Oh, wow. Oh. Arching your back, covering yourself. You can cross an arm over yourself or a hand to cover yourself up. And you're trying to be mysterious. You're trying to be coy and playful. Mm -hmm. So think of things like hiding but showing at the same time. A lot of us have concerns about anonymity. Yes. So how do you hide yourself while you're taking pictures of yourself? Right. Because not everybody shows their face. Right. So I actually recommend that you don't cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> or put the bobble head or the smiley face or scratch right. it out with the editor. Just, just don't take a picture of your face. Ah. Here are some examples of really easy ways to hide your face and still be subtle and sexy without necessarily being fully explicit or fully exposed shoot from behind so a back photo which most women look really good from behind mm -hmm. you get a nice <laughs> curve you get the hips you get the waistline some side boob the shoulders are always very elegant and and beautiful and with her face kind of turned sideways, you know, she's got longer hair. You can cover, she can cover her face with her hair. Oh, yeah. Um, you can get a little bit of a profile, but maybe not show the full face, which right. is pretty good. And. Oh, yeah. I was going to say a hat. Hats. A hat too. Or body if you have parts. Short hair or you know, you can hat. always cross one hand up over your head oh, and use. Mm -hmm you know, like the bent elbow above your head. Right. And that can create kind of a, a hide for your face. And it opens up your ribs and your side and your breasts. Right. Which is actually a really good pose. Yeah. Once again, props, right? So, you, you know, we've said hats and body parts, even arms and legs. So think of poses where you could hide your face with your legs. You could what? think of some really interesting kind of bent uh, over poses or grabbing your ankles and, and oh. kind of lifting up so you could be on your back. And if the camera angle's right, all you get is that silhouette, that oh. shape. Right. Could even get some of your your, your chest and, and, and side boob. Yeah. If your head's flipped the other way. Exactly. You can that always just turn away from the camera. So you can get uh -huh. in the same pose, but just turn your head. Right. As I turn my head from the mic and completely destroy the sound. <laughs> the other thing you can do, one, just like we used sheer drapes for lighting, you can also use sheer drapes to hide yourself. Ah. So you, you're backlit. So you get that nice warm sun coming through and the sheer drapes in front of you and so all you see is a silhouette, and those photos look really sexy. We've taken some of those. Oh, yeah. They those look, turned out great. Yeah. They're fun. They're playful. And you can do combinations of all of these things. And the other thing that you can do is, which I'm not as big a fan of, and that's cropping strategically. Um, photos tend to look really awkward when you crop people off at joints mm -hmm. and at the neck so you can kind of think of like people without feet, people without hands, right? losing, you know, your arm below your elbow. Yeah. You, you almost look like you've been um, amputated. Right. And it, and if it sets that subconscious sense in the photo to the viewer mm -hmm. and it's a little awkward. It's not the right kind of leave it to your imagination. It's the wrong. It's, right. It's not that I look at that and go, oh, well, I know there's a. There's an arm. I mean, I do know that, but it it doesn't translate. Yeah, my brain fills it in in a negative way, not in a positive way. Right, right. It 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 looks awkward. It, it feels does. awkward. Yeah. So figure out a different way to crop it. You can even do things like 
turning your face away or shooting around a corner. And so if you only see part of the face from like around a corner, it looks like they're hiding. It doesn't look like you cut their face off. Gotcha. <laughs> so think of things like that. Let's get into the, the, the not rules, the things you just shouldn't do. And these go in general for like the sexy photos, but they also go for any profile photo. And remember too, you can have photos of yourself just doing fun things like backpacking or cycling or anything that you guys like to do because having fun as a couple makes you look fun to be around or interesting. Yeah, exactly. And if you've got the same hobbies as somebody else, it gives you a, a conversation starter. They're sure. like, hey, I know you guys. You guys are the cyclists or, or whatever. Marathon, the lumberjacks right? that right. You know, do chainsaw carving, right. whatever. And you remember them longer because as soon as you said that, who did I think of on the cruise? Those crazy fit oh, yeah. bodybuilders that were uh, competition bodybuilders. Yeah. She was. Uh, her husband wasn't, but he was just as fit. Right. But she was insane, like serious competitor. It was amazing, her yeah. dedication um, and the way she had built up her body. And I remember them to this day. I remember what they're into. I remember where they live. I remember what they do for a living. I mean, yeah, just, we had some good conversations with we them did. too. Great, great people. Fun stuff. Okay. So here's some, here's some anti patterns, some don't do these kinds of things, things you should avoid invisible husbands. Rule number one. Oh yeah. If you have a profile and there are no pictures of your husband, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Give the poor guy Airtime. one photo. <laughs> just just at least one I know, photo. But even one is like, oh, just one? Like, really? I mean, I get it. One is better than none. But one is still pretty it's kinda bad. Sad. It's kind of sad. It's like 1% better. Really, there Three. should be just as many photos of him as there are of her because yes. it, unless you're shopping for unicorns and he's not even going to be playing in the bedroom and it's just for her, right. then he really should be in the pictures. So, no invisible husbands. If you're wanting to play together. I mean, maybe the people are doing that because they're just, you know, in a different type of kink style or, you know. That's possible. Or, you know, where he just wants to shop her think, out because he wants to watch and that's it. Maybe that's their thing. That's possible. But it should say that in the profile and that's the point is that it doesn't. That's so, couple searching for single female or couple that's searching what it should for say, right? whatever. It shouldn't come up as under couples because anyway. Photos, as they say, photos or it didn't happen. So no photos of your husband. Maybe he doesn't exist. <laughs> Probably not. As far as Phoebe knows, he doesn't exist. I, she can't. She's never seen him. No. Nope. He's a, he's and a so mythical creature. So I just creature. move on because there's nothing for me to say. There you go. Oh, yes. And we have touched on this before. I said it. Actually, Ed said it. Hide the dirty laundry and the kid toys. Nobody wants to see it. Not sexy. No. Think of that clean house that we were talking about before with the rumpled bed. Just, it's got to be clean enough that it looks like people want to come over. <laughs> exactly. And no pets allowed. I mean, I know your dog's cute and your cat's cute and stuff and that, whatever. That's what YouTube is for. That's what the next door app is for. Not really, but it happens. But that's where YouTube Honestly, yeah. that's where we watch all the cute animal videos. Not Absolutely. on the swinger site. Don't do it. Not allowed. Uh uh. We're just not interested in your dog. No, not in that way. It's creepy. It's weird. Yeah. Eh. It's, it is weird. It's kind of like having pictures of your kids. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, and your pets are your like your family. So uh, get them off the swinger site. Yeah. And here's a here's another important one. No vacation photos unless you're in them so i don't want to see where you went to vacation last oh, yeah. i don't want to see the side of a, a cruise ship yeah i know you like cruise ships but 
where are you in it? You've got to be in the pictures. So yeah. anything that's, you know, it's a beautiful sunset, <laughs> but I want to share it with somebody, not just see the sunset. So yeah. Yeah. Clean, but cozy. What's that? So it can't be too clean. Oh, the Martha Stewart thing. Yeah. And this kind of goes with the dirty laundry and stuff. Got so it's, it. It's kind of, you know, you want it to be fun and warm and inviting and not too sterile. Right. But it's got to be clean. Don't crop too close. No macro photos. This goes to the whole boob pic, dick pic, and cropping off your body part pic. Right. We've seen boob pics cropped so close that it was just an areola. Right. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that. I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> But with a photo of it, it just doesn't make any sense. I have no idea who this person is. It doesn't say anything about your personality. It doesn't even say that you're fun. It says you have a nipple, just like 5 billion other people on the planet. With an areola. Yes. So there you go. I know. Don't crop it <laughs> that close. <laughs> no macros. Why no candlelight? Oh, shooting in the dark I get. But why no candlelight? Candlelight yeah. can be sexy. Is candlelight it can be to... very sexy. But I guarantee you that the pictures are going to turn out really poorly. Mm. They're going to be dark. They're going to be grainy. You're not going to be able to see people. Your camera is going to work really hard to try and get that picture. Unless you have a tripod because the Apple iPhone is getting really it's getting good better. with that dark photo thing. You'd be better off though. So this isn't a hard no. This is a an advanced photo technique. So if you've mastered everything else in this episode, okay, then bust out the candles and try and take that picture. But it's a hard picture to get. Yeah. You probably have to have like at least 20 candles. Right. Which could start a fire and we don't want to go there. Yeah, that's not good. No. Or you die from all the fumes and you try to put them out. <laughs> oh, my god. This is an important one. It has to be focused. Oh. So... Is that hard for most people? <laughs> it, it can be hard. Blurry <laughs> pictures, out of focus pictures, the super dark pictures. That's not going to work well. I know it may be the only picture of your husband, but take another one. Just just tell him to stop moving and take another picture. Yeah. Because you don't have to save every picture that's not focused. You can't salvage non-focused pictures. You can't salvage yeah. blurry pictures it just doesn't work yes. so delete it try again move on photos from your ancient past right don't do it you may have been a very amazingly beautiful people when you were in your 20s <laughs> but if you're in your 60s now no one's going to find you in the restaurant when you show up. That's true. No one's going to find you because we change. They're like, so you have look to at that be... cute elderly couple. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for some 20-somethings. Now, it was a little odd that they were driving a Pinto in the photograph. Oh, so Lord. clearly it was taken in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. So We've seen those. They're really funny. They're and really I'm, funny. I'm exaggerating but... with the, the 70s to to. You know, right, the but I have seen some really nice profiles that ha where the swingers have been in the lifestyle for a very long time, and they they kept the progression of photos on there, and you could see how they right. they aged and matured and got changed their sexiness over time, and actually it was really nice, and it was they did a good job of showcasing themselves and, over time, and that's the one exception where there are recent pictures, but you still have some of the older pictures right. too. As long as you can tell, because we <laughs> we frequently go through this photo forensic analysis and we're like, wait, her hair was short and black in that photo. And her she was with a different guy in this photo. Was it just her swinger partner or was it a different husband? Is that five years ago or is that now? And we like start analyzing like, which is the current photo? Right. We've and, even seen photos where the 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 people changed just enough where you couldn't for sure know that it was the same person. Yes. Oh, 
and actually this is a new this is another tip that wasn't on our list and that is if you're gonna have a whole group in a photo yeah figure out a way to identify who you are oh right because i can't tell you how many pictures on how many profile pictures i've seen where there's three women in a photo and Mm -hmm. i have no idea which one's the wife right (laughs) they're all great choices maybe yes but i kind of want to know which one i'm supposed to be looking at in this particular case right right oh my goodness and the same thing goes for the the men because i've i've seen the exact same thing yeah so and you know i get it it the photos do take time which is you know and it takes some effort and you gotta upload them and you gotta put them on your profile a la lot you know but and then you gotta update them every now and then but hopefully if you can make it fun and have you know a good time doing it then maybe it won't feel so much so laborious yeah, it doesn't have to be a big level of effort. Right. Think of it as a fun activity where you do it every once in a while. Right. Your profile photos should be fun and flirty. And remember, this is the viewer's first impression. If your photos are blurry, raunchy, or of your dog, people won't be that interested in getting to know you. If, on the other hand, you look like a fun, sexy couple that knows how to have a good time, you'll get a lot more attention and people will remember your profile and be more interested in contacting you so get your cameras out take some sexy pictures and have a great time before you turn off our podcast to take care of all the vanilla things pulling you away please reach out and give us a review i know mashing a star is so much easier But a review is so much better for sharing your love of what we're doing with others. We would appreciate it. If you want to share a personal story, ask us questions, or share your comments, you can contact us at swingeruniversity at gmail.com. Check us out at swingeruniversity.com where you can find links to our Twitter and Instagram feeds. Thank you for listening to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment podcast.